What documents will an EB-5 investor need to enter the United States? After an EB-5 applicant's I-526E petition is approved, they are eligible to apply for an EB-5 visa. This application process is different depending on the applicant's location at the time of I-526E approval. Investors already residing within the United States on a different visa may file Form I-485 after approval or alongside their I-526E petition to speed up the investment process. In contrast, investors residing outside the United States must go through consular processing instead. This entails filing Form DS-260 and a visa interview at the U.S. consulate or embassy in the investor's home country. Once the visa application is approved, the investor and any qualifying visa derivatives, spouse and unmarried children under the age of 21, are issued a visa page in their passports. This visa is the only document needed to enter the United States. Once an EB-5 investor's visa application is approved, they are granted two years of conditional permanent resident CPR status. At the end of this two-year period, an investor can apply for the removal of these conditions and receive lawful permanent resident LPR status, which can be renewed indefinitely. CPR status and LPR status grant many of the same rights to EB-5 investors, including the ability to travel outside the U.S. and return. However, there are limitations on the travel rights of conditional and permanent residents. By spending too much time abroad, an EB-5 investor could lose their green card based on having abandoned their U.S. residence. However, this also depends on the nature of a trip. Generally, trips that last longer than six months may lead to increased scrutiny upon re-entry. Trips that last over a year will likely raise a legal presumption that an investor has abandoned their U.S. residency. To avoid the aforementioned issues, an investor can apply for a re-entry permit. This document serves to establish that, despite a long stay abroad, an EB-5 investor does not intend to abandon their U.S. residence. Re-entry permits are normally valid for two years from the date of issuance.